of interest. Ladies and gentlemen, today's topic of interest is skill power. It has changed in the update 1.6 and a lot of people are now running builds that revolve around skill power. So we thought it would be useful to go a bit in depth on how it works. We will take a look at what skill power does, how electronics scale to skill power, which skill power sources are the most efficient, think major attributes or gear, but also weapon and gear talents. And of course we won't exclude skill haste. One mechanic we won't be discussing today is a signature resource gain, since this is a topic on its own. Let's start off with some basic information on skill power. Every electronic point is equivalent to skill 30 points of skill power. When calculating correctly, the minimum electronics cap is 2674, assuming you're level 30 and playing on world tier 5. Of course, this translates to just over 80,000 skill power. There are multiple sources of skill power. The first one is of course electronics on your gear. And then there are the prototype mods that also give electronics. Then there is the tactician's authority, which both gives 10% increased skill power with a two-piece bonus and a stacking bonus of 30% with a four-piece bonus, which is quite interesting if you're looking for a lot of skill power. You can also find some skill power on your on your major axe, but this is usually just flat skill power and we'll get to that. Then there's also the weapon talent called Talented, and the last source we could, we could find was the talent Death by Proxy. This is a player talent. The maximum amount of skill power you can obtain from just under 9000 electronics alone is just under 270,000. But this isn't the skill cap, since there are other sources like gear set bonuses or gear talents, major attributes, weapon talents and even player talents. The highest amount of skill power is hard to estimate since there are so many sources. The highest base skill power without weapon and player talents we could come up with was around 425,000. This means you have three major attribute roles of skill power on your gear. Five prototype mods that have rolled the maximum skill power role, the backpack talent inventive and the gear set bonus of the tactician authority. Not the stacking by the way. but. Keep in mind that the point of diminishing returns of skill power is at 450,000. Since you'll never really since you will never really reach this, you don't have to worry about reaching this, but even if you were to do so, we wouldn't recommend it. As you most likely will run Tactician Authority, we recommend you cap your skill power at around 350,000. The reason for this is that the stacks from your 4 piece bonus of the Tactician Authority will go to waste if you go further than 350,000. The 30% that the 4 piece bonus will add results in roughly 450,000, meaning you are better off spending those points elsewhere. Another reason we never recommend putting everything into skill power, since you'll be squishy, you can't even play the game, of course this is up to you. If you are to do this, do it with a support station and a ballistic shield so you won't die. So, what do you want to choose and what not? Get most of your skill power from electronic rolls on the gear. You want to go for health instead of skill power for the major attributes on the gear and gear mods. Stamina scales worse to toughness than electronics does to skill power. Stamina only has 15 times multiplier, where electronics has 30. Now I wanted to look at the backpack since there's a lot of dispute on whether you should be using specialized or not. So let's look at a few of the talents that the backpack has that revolve around skill power. For the backpacks you can choose between specialized, inventive and technical. Since this only procs when your signature skill is active. A lot of people are using specialized, but we have found that inventive is a lot better, especially for skill power focus builds. The increase of inventive crushes specialized, but you probably will say that inventive is only active when you are at full health, which is true, but you can easily maintain this if you run a vigorous chess piece, and a dedicated healer on your team will do the trick. 
Now let's demonstrate how Specialized works to show you why it's not worth it. In an ideal build, you would have the maximum amount of firearms to, make, to benefit the most from Specialized, which is 9502 and the minimum toughness, which is 2674. When adding these together, you get 12175 and then multiply this by 2 since it's a 200% increase and you will get an increase of 24,352, which is a lot of skill power. Adding this to the base skill power of 8,220, and you'll end up with about 105,000 skill power. This isn't a lot, but then again, you haven't built into it at all. And this is an ideal build, so this is the most effective it gets. Now keep in mind, the more electronics you've built, the less effective this talent gets, since it only scales on firearms and toughness. On the other hand, you have Inventive, which is very nice for any electronics and skill power focus build. If you have the 15% bonus on top of the minimum electronics, it results in even less. So, in case of a firearms or toughness build, you won't want to choose this either. But we are building an actual decent skill power build. Let's say we have 350,000 skill power. Add the 15% of inventive and to that and you'll end up with 402,500. And contrary to specialized, it only gets better as you have more skill power. So to conclude the whole specialized versus inventive debate, to specialized if you have if you spec into firearms or toughness, but in the end it's probably better to pick another slot for a talent, because this backpack is not going to do much for you. Because this slight increase of skill power is not going to do much for your skills. Since skill power only becomes interesting when you exceed the 100,000, and since you just only go over the 100,000, you barely notice anything from skill power. So all in all, the debate between Specialized and Inventive. Inventive is for people with skill power, and Specialized just sucks in general. There are also situational increases of skill power through weapon talents and player talents. Talented increases your skill power by 15%, but only for 20 seconds after killing a target. Keep in mind that this target can be both an NPC, a player, or skill, like a turret. The same goes for the death by proxy talent, which only procs when you destroy a skill, and only lasts 30 seconds. Another mechanic that's important for any skill power build is skill haste. For those who don't know skill haste, it reduces your skill cooldown. The skill haste cap has been raised from 40% to 50%, similar to the skill power Similar to skill power, there are multiple sources of skill haste. You get some from the Tactician Authority. You can find it on your major attribute, attributes, on the gear. Uh, you can find it on gear and or prototype mods in general. Uh, the rapid talent on the chest piece, which is only for healing. Uh, you can find it on weapon talents like cool-headed, determined, or dominant. Then there's the player talents like triage and strike back. And even your support station with an ammo cache mod can give you some skill cooldown. Some of the sources are situational, meaning that they aren't active consistently. The rapid talent on the chest piece reduces the cooldown for healing skills by 15%. So besides the first aid and the support station, no skills benefit from this. Cool headed only procs if you land a headshot and it has a 3 second cooldown. Determined requires you to kill your target. Keep in mind that this includes NPCs, players and their skills. Dominant only reduces skill cooldown when your signature skill is active. Triage only procs if you heal an ally with your skill. So once again only affects healing skills and strike back only procs when you reach low health. The last segment of your health to be precise. Alright, and with that we wanted to end the video. We hope that you've learned how skill power and skill haste works, where you can get it from, and how you want to mid max your skill based build. Thank you for watching. As always, we appreciate any ratings and constructive feedback. 
Don't forget to check us out on social media. And if you want to stay up to date with all our videos, you can subscribe and even click the notification bell on our homepage. Good luck farming and peace out.